West Australians have every reason to be proud of the Aboriginal art collection at Parliament House in Perth, but the rest of the parliamentary art collection deserves praise as well. The collection began as an idea from businessman and art benefactor Sir Claude Hodgson to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Federation in 1951. The collection expanded from 1964 to include art commissioned by local government shires, towns and regions from all over Western Australia and now numbers over 120 paintings. This is the beautiful corridor outside the Members Dining Room at Parliament House. I'm heading towards some of the exquisite work by Philippa Niklinski, which forms one part of the collection. In 1997, the watercolour paintings by Philippa Niklinski from her Landscope Collection, featuring some of the beautiful plants and animals found in Western Australia, were added. Here are some of them. There is more work of Philippa Niklinski's collection further down the corridor. The Philippa Niklinski collection is a beautifully detailed display of some of Western Australia's unique and in some cases endangered wildlife and flora. It is such a valuable addition to the Parliament House collection. This is The Stranger's Bar, and these paintings are part of the Sir Claude Hodgson bequest. He believed that good pictures are beauty and character. Naturally, they have an influence for good when youth is surrounded by them. In 1947, he opened the Claude Hodgson Art Gallery in Perth and ran it until 1951. In 1948, he inaugurated a competition for Western Australian artists. The prize bore his name and was awarded annually until 1973. Between 1948 and 1977, Hodgson donated an estimated 2,000 original paintings to galleries hospitals and shire councils throughout the state in an effort to stimulate art appreciation. His predilection was for Australian pastoral landscapes. Many of the smaller regional collections have remained unchanged from the time of the first gifts and their essentially conservative holdings continue to exert subtle influence on attitudes to art in the local communities. Royal Perth Hospital and the University of Western Australia were major recipients and in 1972 the Art Gallery of Western Australia received an initial bequest of $10,000 with which it established the Sir Claude Hodgson Art Foundation. Every region of Western Australia and most electorates are represented by art commissioned by a local government authority, shire or town. It really surprises and delights people from regional areas to see their shire or town represented in their parliament. 
like this one, presented by the Shire of Mullawar. Most of the artwork is from the 1960s and has captured scenes of towns or areas that have long since changed. Many older visitors have really been delighted to be able to see their town or region depicted as it was in their childhood or youth. For many, it has brought back happy memories. Mandurah today is one of the fastest growing regions in Australia, but in the portrait Holiday Time by Alan Baker, it is portrayed as a sleepy holiday village. It was presented by the Shire of Mandurah, which today of course is the city of Mandurah. Rockingham and Gosnells are also two fast growing areas in Western Australia, but in 1964 they were semi-rural and slow paced holiday destinations close to Perth. Over 120 regions, towns or shires are represented in the local government art collection. The painting commissioned by the Shire of Menzies in the Eastern Goldfields has an interesting story behind it. It wasn't until December 31st, 1999 that the Town Hall finally got a clock. Hundreds turned up to see the clock strike midnight and usher in the new year 2000. However, in 1905, the ship Orizaba was on its way to Western Australia with the clock for the Menzies Town Hall in its cargo. But the Orizaba ran aground off Fremantle because of a severe smoke haze hovering over the coast. The ship and the clock were lost forever. Celebrated artist William Bozervain has four paintings in the art collection. These two were commissioned by the Shires of Wanneroo and Peppermint Grove. This is the bust of Western Australia's first premier, Sir John Forrest, sculptured by Italian artist Pietro Pocelli. He was born in Italy in 1872, but came to Australia when he was a child. His work includes this bust and the bust of the first speaker, Sir James Lestier. Other work includes statues of C.Y. O'Connor, Alexander Forrest, and memorials in Boulder, Kalgoorlie, Midland, and in Melbourne. However, he was greatly disappointed when he was not commissioned to sculpt the statue of Sir John Forrest in Kings Park and left the state in 1926 for Victoria. But Life in Melbourne was hard for Bocelli, and two car accidents left him in very bad health. He returned to Western Australia in 1936, his marriage now over, and he died, a broken and penniless man. There are so many more artworks in the collection that we would love to show you, but you might just have to make a visit to Parliament and see them for yourself. Of course, if that isn't possible, you can always go online to parliament.wa.gov.au and look for the Parliament Art Catalogue. It is a beautiful collection and it belongs to the people of Western Australia. It belongs to you. Mm -hmm.